because you've had a very interesting uh, path to becoming a teacher, it's right? Crooked. Yeah. Uh, well, crooked is, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's a journey of self-discovery. Yeah. You know, curiosity seems to be at the center of it. So yeah. what drew you to study cognitive science? Did you know anything about cognitive no, science? I'd never heard of it when I went to college, <laughs> until I got to college, actually. Um, I, I mean, I went to Berkeley because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, and I knew that any department there would be strong, and so whatever path I picked, it'd be a good one, right? Was that okay with your parents, that you didn't know what you wanted to be? They were, yeah, they were pretty supportive of that. Okay. Um, so I was lucky. <laughs> I mean, my mom was a teacher, too. She gets it. Oh, your mom is a teacher? Um, mm hmm yeah. What does she teach? She, she used to teach special ed when we lived in Honolulu, um, and then she moved over more towards research um, when we moved to Palo Alto. And she studied what, psychology? Yeah, she was developmental psychology. So you followed her footsteps? I went cognitive psychology, which is totally different. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, can split, you can split hair, but yeah, at the end of the day... the psychology. The psychology. <laughs> okay, so you didn't yeah. know what was cognitive science? No, I didn't. Um, it, it, and actually, a lot of people would be like, what? what are you going to do with a degree in cognitive science, right? Um, that question I got a lot. Um, mm. And my students today actually get that question a lot, so now I can arm them with answers. So oh, yeah. a lot of them say, you know, well, um, I don't know if I want to go to industry or academia. I don't know if I want to do lots of stats or math. I don't know if I want to do programming or design. And really, cognitive science is this, like, wonderful community of people where you could go any of those directions and be ready.